Another Killer Planes video. Down and Dirty. Tips and tricks for keeping your plane out of the shop. Starring Steve's Dirty Hands. Today, Simon says, reinforce your cowl. The hands are back. We're here today with yet more of said Waco. Oh, this is the cowl. Simon cowl? No, it's just a Simon. No, no, not Simon. It's <laughs> He's Simon, easily confused. Simon cow says it's just a cow, and this cow goes on there, and uh, of course it comes off. That's what I have in my hand. And what we're going to show you today is how we reinforce these babies. Though it is a reason we reinforce everything; they're all the same, pretty much. But this is especially the same, meaning we want to make this strong and much harder to break because of the fact that most planes you can't get this as a replacement part. It's considered part of the fuselage, and if you want one of these, you gotta buy one of those, uh, which I think is a ripoff. So. Uh, if you reinforce these, they're much, much harder to break, and it's really easy to reinforce them to do that. You just have to be willing and able to do some touch-up. And the way that we start that is to get touch-up paint from Lowe's or Home Depot. Home Depot has flat colors, Lowe's has satin for most of the things, and uh, you can get them to match a color. By bringing easily. a piece of foam down, right? Like yeah, that. you bring a piece of like the plane that. and they shoot it with a gun and match the color and make you a sample that costs $5. Then you have all the paint you're going to need to touch up your plane. So, let's get back to the cowl. Here's our cowl. We want to reinforce this baby. So what we do is we put rods in the foam very close to the inside edge. You could either carve a groove to do that or you could drill it right close to the edge so that the drill is skirting the edge of the foam as you drill in, right? Like that Yes song, Close to the Edge? Close to the Edge. <laughs> she is such a musical genius, isn't she? <laughs> Thank you, honey. And uh, uh, so, well, let's figure this out. This is the top. These are the two sides, of course, where the magnets are. So that's going to go on the plane like so. So, this is why we're ascertaining all of that. You want to put the most of your reinforcement in a cowl in the bottom and the top. And the reason being that it's harder to hit the sides because if you're going to go crashing in that aspect, it's likely to hit the wing first because you're not going to go perfectly straight in. And that's going to give it some protection. So we'll put one, let's say, or maybe two in the sides, and then we might put three in the top and three in the bottom for some real protection. Uh, and then after that, and we, after we glue them in, we line the entire inside of this with a thin piece of HDPE. It doesn't have to be thick, it just has to be HDPE. And if you wrap it all the way around and overlap itself and glue it in along with the rods, it makes this cowl, I don't know, 10 times stronger, something like that. And uh, the, as a final touch, a lot of times we'll get pieces of laundry bottles or whatever already has a compound shape like this and find one that fits right on our plane. It doesn't have to be big. It just has to be on the bottom, which is the most likely place you're going to hit your cowl. So you put that, on the bottom, <clears throat> and, excuse me, put that on the bottom outside? Put it on the bottom outside. Exactly. If need be, we just cut one of these off. So we put it on the bottom outside like that and then glue this piece back on the outside of our little piece of plastic. Right, so let's get back to drilling. Here we have our pointy stick, which is a uh, real official uh, tech term for this, right? Right, it's really a carbon fiber rod sharpened at the end with some sandpaper or you a You wreck sander. everything, it's oh. a pointy stick. Okay, we take our pointy stick. A pointy stick, a pointy pointy. <laughs> and uh, let's say we're gonna wanna put three holes on the bottom. Uh, I just stuck had that stuck in there, so it's I want one actually in the center of the bottom, which would be how. Yeah. That's good, Steve. And then one, let's say, this far from the center, on each side, right? So there's one now and one around here. These don't have to be exact by any means. So now I have a place to stick my drill bit. Go on, stick your drill bit. Oh my. Um, and if you want to, which is not a bad idea, you can use something as a straight edge to uh, 
guide you. Guide you. There you go. Thank you. Those, it's those little words that get me, right? So we stick our bit in that hole and we make sure that it's going right parallel with that guide stick, right? Oh, came right out there. So actually that's the easiest way to do it is to drill it right alongside the edge like this. So you can actually pretty much see the bit all the way through. You just keep pulling it up out of the foam like that. Oh, and there it is right at the edge. All right, so now I have this thing embedded right at the in, inner edge here, right? So I hold it down there and drill right out through the front. And there it goes. See, it's coming out right there. So I keep drilling in like that. All right, I get it right flush with the edge like so, and then hold it and then and drill it through. All right, so now I've come out right through the front edge both times. And then typically in these uh, cowl pieces, we'll use 2.5 millimeter or three millimeter rods. This is a 2.5, all right? And we will stick the rod in there and poke it right up to the surface so that it's right there. And then just mark it with my thumbnail and cut it off. And we use these here cable snips to cut our little pieces of rod. So once I get these all glued in with my Gorilla Glue and it's all dried up, I can sand this down with an emery board, right? A little bit of finger filler in there and then touch up paint and now it's disappeared. But what I've got now is a bunch of extremely hard carbon fiber points coming out to the front edge or close to the front edge of the cowl. And what kind of filler do you use to patch Just that? Just spackle or foam patch or any stuff like that that you can sand. It's gotta be sandable, all right? And so it's good that it's here rather than here because the real true likelihood is that if you do crash the plane, it's gonna hit like that, you know what I mean? It's not gonna hit like that right on this surface. Uh, it's gonna hit more like this most of the time. So these work really well. And then when you put your piece of plastic on the inside, it holds the entire circle together because even with these rods in here, if you hit it in certain ways, it can split from here to here between the rods, right? So if you have your piece of HDPE in there, it ain't gonna do that anymore. What we use for the HDPE is contact cement. You have to scratch up the surface of the hood pee that you're using to make it really, really toothy, and then use contact cement, contact cement, and you stick them together like that. And it does not have to be thick HDPE. This is a piece of a milk bottle, and it works exceedingly well. You can use three pieces, let's say, if you want in there, and just overlap them. Good, now so wait, that... put that in there, and then hold it up and show me, please. Okay. So you, you make sure when you are gluing this on, you, you want to start putting it on from one end. Let's imagine this piece was actually cut to be the shape we want, all right? We would start it at one end and then rub it down from that end as we travel around the circle so that it's completely rubbed down onto the inside of the cowl and not with a space in it like that, right? So you want to apply it like this and rub it down as you go and then trim off the excess on the back. And now you have a much stronger cowl. And if you want to go crazy, which we do, um, you take a thinner piece of HDPE, right? And glue, sand this down and glue it right to the inside of this edge here, which will make this much stronger. Love those M's. Okay. Okay. So uh, without actually going through this entire th process, basically that's all the information you need. So this is what we do. Three on the bottom, three on the top, one on each side, maybe two if we feel like it. As you could see, it takes hardly any time to drill them and takes hardly any time to glue them in. So this is all worth it if you ask me. And as you can see, these rods here are sticking out right now, but they'll be trimmed back so that they end 
right at an HDPE ring that's glued into the cowl just behind the foam at the nose. Making this entire thing much, much less likely to break if you should impact the ground, which is a 7,000 mile diameter ball of rock smashing into the front of your plane. I don't like that. And there we have it for the cowl, the not Simon cowl. And, right, we'll see you in the shop again and then out on the flight line.